TikTok ads or meta ads? Which one is gonna be better for promoting your local business? That's exactly what we're talking about today. My name is Derek Cabral and I'm the CEO of Suit Social. We're a digital marketing agency that helps companies like yours build their brand, generate more leads, and get more customers online. So today we're talking Meta and TikTok. For those of you that don't know, and I'm still getting used to this myself, Meta is basically the parent company of Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Messenger. They've rebranded um, earlier in the year, and that's what we're calling them now. So when I say meta ads, I'm talking about the whole gambit of Facebook ads, Instagram ads, all that fun stuff. So meta ads or TikTok ads. If you're trying to promote a local company, there's a few things you're gonna to wanna to think about. One is what platform's just gonna work better? What's gonna get you in front of the most amount of people, get you the best quality leads for the lowest price? That's really what it's gonna boil down to. And when you look at these two platforms, I'm gonna keep it really, really simple here. TikTok is doing really, really well. The problem is it has a huge bias. A lot of business owners are not considering TikTok at all. They think it's a bunch of 12 year old girls doing fun dances. To some degree, that's true on the organic side. There's people posting these videos and they're doing that. But on the other side, it has one of the fastest growing demographics of 30 somethings and 40 somethings of any other social media platform. So it's getting very popular in that kind of upper end demographic where it used to be teenagers and 20 year olds. Now we're seeing the 30s and 40s just rapidly pile into the platform and they're consuming all kinds of content. We have people consuming construction and trades content, real estate content, medical content. This is all getting big on the platform and it's bringing a certain kind of user, which is really interesting. However, we're still in an environment where most businesses are not paying for ads on TikTok. So there's not a whole lot of competition. So for example, if you're a local you know, dog walking company or a painting company, or let's just say even a window and door company, and you choose to run an ad on TikTok as a window and door company, you're probably gonna be the only window and door company in your area coming up on TikTok. So all those people in that area that are opening TikTok every day, you're the only window and door company they're gonna see. There's probably no one else doing it. That's a really rare opportunity. Those opportunities come along once every decade, once every two decades, because as soon as a platform like Facebook did got popular, it's saturated, you can never go back. But imagine if you could advertise in those early days of Facebook where you would have been the only company locally on the platform. That's where we are with TikTok. So you can kind of see where I'm going with this, which is when it comes to metaverse TikTok, I'm favoring TikTok heavily these days. They have all the same features of Facebook ads. You can even run what we call lead gen ads on TikTok now, where someone can just click on an ad, it flips open a lead form, they can put their name, their email, their number, and that goes right to your business. And you don't have to create all kinds of content. We're running TikTok ads for a, a local golf course that we work with. There's one post on the TikTok page. That's irrelevant, one post, nothing else. We don't create a bunch of content. We don't do five videos a day. We have one video, but we've turned that video into an ad, targeted all the people in the area that are interested in golf in a particular age range, the club wants to target with a clear offer, sending them back to the website to book a tee time. And that thing is blown up. For 20 bucks a day, they've reached over 70,000 people in two weeks in just the local area. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people have clicked through, ended up on the site. We've had dozens of people book tee times with their friends, groups, parties. It's been an absolute game changer. Whereas when we were running ads on Facebook, it's kind of like a drop in the ocean. But when you turn something on on TikTok, you really feel the whole tide kind of come in, right? So TikTok has been dominating. And if you're a local business, I think the biggest thing you could do right now in 2022 and beyond is start on TikTok. I don't need you to make 100 pieces of content a day. I need you to get one good ad up and running, figure out what your business needs are, what's gonna make sense, what's gonna help you get to your goals. Do you need traffic? Do you need leads? Are you pushing a product? Figure out what that is and get a TikTok ad up and running. I promise it will blow you away. And of course, as always, if you need help with that, we actually help our clients here at Suit Social basically plan, build, and manage paid ad campaigns on TikTok very successfully. So if you need help, www.suitsocial.com, book your free strategy call. We'll be happy to walk you through our strategy, what we do, how we can apply it to your business, and what kind of angle is gonna make sense for you in your unique situation. Other than that, thanks so much guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you found some value. Drop a comment below if you have some questions. If you agree, maybe you like Meta more than TikTok, let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to turn on those notifications. I'll see you on the next episode.